So when a client approaches you on a cross-border deal as opposed to a domestic deal, what are some of the differences in approach or thinking that you uh, engage in? Well, Matt, one of the things we think about right off the bat is, uh, will there be an opportunity for uh, any legal arbitrage in the deal? We've got two legal systems or two or three or four potentially at play. We need to get underneath and find out whether there are uh, advantages that can be gained for our client from relying on one set of rules as opposed to another. That's not always the case. It, it has proven to be true in the takeover context, cases where we're looking at the U.S. rules versus, in this case, the U.K. or the uh, European rules. A, sec a second thing we look at is how will the client prepare for this acquisition? Uh, advanced preparation is important in all M&A deals in the cross-border context, taking into account the geographic uh, challenges, the language challenges, documentary diligence, getting all of that right and understood by the client how much of a challenge it's going to be is one of the first things that we try to communicate in terms of getting a client prepared. And it, it sounds like because oftentimes these deals are done under great time constraints that actually preparation before the, the clock maybe starts ticking is important, is that right? Well that's absolutely true and, and one of the great advantages of the U.S. disclosure system is that so much uh, public information is out there that if you're a European or Asian or Russian company looking at a U.S. target, there is a great deal of diligence that can be done purely on the public record. It's not always something that our clients are aware of, and we try to make sure that they are early on focused on gleaning as much information from that public record as they possibly can. And uh, you talk about the importance of understanding cultural differences, uh, but uh, uh, cultural differences are, are much more complex than merely language differences, right? Well, that's true. And, and as I mentioned during our, uh, during our seminar, one of the challenges is getting an M&A team together and, and making sure that everybody understands what their roles are going to be, because that can be quite different in the U.S. versus the U.K. versus a purely continental European deal, not to mention Asia. So we, we try to get the group together, the group of advisors and clients together as early on in the process and have a dialogue about who's going to do what and when, what are the expectations in terms of communication channels.